It says, whereas a renewable generation system is an electric generating system that uses, you know, solar energy uh, as defined by Florida statutes, no more than 1,000 kilowatts AC in size. So that's a, one item to note is the interconnection application when they're talking about the system size, 95 times out of 100, they're talking about the AC nameplate system output capacity and any interconnection application because it deals with the actual interconnection to the grid should be speaking in terms of the AC output capacity of the system. A small number of interconnection applications say, no, we want you to use the DC capacity and often that's for political reasons. A 1000 kilowatt AC solar array might have 1200 kilowatts of DC capacity feeding into it. On a 1000 watt inverter, the power output can't exceed 1000 watts. And of course, we know from class that the 1200 kilowatt solar array is almost never going to get up to 1200 kilowatts of true DC capacity to begin with. But you know, if I'm a utility and I'm trying to discourage solar from coming to the grid, you know, I might look at that incentive program or interconnection guideline. And if the AC aspect is not explicitly spelled out by the state, if I'm being wise, I might have it be applicable to the DC side instead and kind of force people into slightly smaller systems. So as the customer has requested to interconnect its renewable generation system of so big to the cooperative electrical service at the customer's presently metered location. So you're putting in your system size, you're putting in your customer address, no big deal.